so welcome back to my channel i think i got creatively bored with doing the traditional get ready sit behind the camera talk about the products blah 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 i wanted to try something creatively different so this is just gonna be a quick demo of the products that i've received every month this bag particularly is going to be september this is my birthday month bag and i was very impressed with it it's like they knew me truly so here's september ipsy glam bag demo hand review Seems as if the theme for September is express yourself. There's a lot of creative pieces in here that are really bold and very, very expressive to kind of like help you create a more vivid look, a different look. Um, I'm really feeling this bag too. I love gold. It's like Ipsy Nose. Remember that time or two when they sent Ipsy in a gold bag instead of a pink? Wasn't that cool? I thought that was awesome. So it comes in this cute little black pouch with gold accents all around it. And it always has a card inside that tells you the theme of the bag for the month. And then little tips and tricks and links on the back side. I think it's really cool because it kind of like um, inspires you to connect to a community that's online. That's also receiving the same products as you. So it's, it's a nice little touch postcard on the inside. The first item, I was so excited for this. This is Hemp's Triple Moisture Herbal Whipped Body Cream. It's lightweight, but it's still a body cream, so it moisturizes deep. It says it contains apple fruit extract. Um, it's loaded with vitamin C to give your skin a glow. It smells so fresh. It says it also contains Yangu oil, which is rich in essential fatty acids, and it helps to reduce inflammation. It's peach and grapefruit scented fragranced and it's light and refreshing so that that's what was so interesting to me about this product it's actually almost gone I didn't realize I had already torn into this bag I actually had to track down a few of these pieces and the lotion was one of them so it's actually almost gone I was very very impressed by this product so I'm definitely on the hunt for a larger bottle maybe like a pump size as you can tell on the struggle bus trying to even get some out like I should just play this in slow motion because <laughs> I just realized like I think at some point I forgot I was recording and I was like dang I just struggled with that for a minute <laughs> so as you can see look how it just instantly dissolves like it's not like a thick when you think body cream I think like a thick butter but I get it butter cream cream still supposed to be thick but it wasn't thick at all but I noticed it last a really long time it lingered for sure so I was very impressed with this product I'm definitely on the hunt all right what do we have in here next I think it's the bronzer okay. nope it's the lip pencils by Tristique there are mini lip glazes it's either in the color okay that's Tuscan wine so that's one that I got from a different bag from this bag, I believe it was English Rose, but I also have, that's right, Tuscan Wine. I was really feeling Tuscan Wine, because I'm not, I don't like lighter colors on me. I like darker colors, like I don't care what time of the year it is, I don't care what lifestyle you live in, I don't care what I'm supposed to do, I know you're not supposed to wear white after Labor Day. I still don't like light colors on me, so I was really impressed with the darker one. Uh, I'm going to do a quick little demo so you can kind of see what it looks like on my hand, but if you saw, I kind of cheated and I posted a clip of me using the lotion after, fact, after the fact and trying to put it back uh, up there. So I'm sure you saw the swatches on my hand. But. I believe this is the Tuscan wine. I just really like that darker red color. Like, I know it's still like a little bright, but I would prefer, like I'd probably mix this with the, um, I think it's Brandy by Anastasia, the lip color the lipstick that I have, just to make it a little more like brick red. I just like darker, deeper colors. And this one I believe is English Rose, so it's still dark, um, it's just like a darker pink. I don't care for pink at all, it's not my, uh, not my cup of tea. It is highly pigmented, it is long wearing, it didn't, um, it wasn't like messy over time. It says that it also contains coconut and peach oils. So I love things that, you know, improve your skin as they're like making you beautiful. 
and it does have the stain like finish that was buildable so that's another feature that I really like especially when you're wanting to go like red and bam all day I'm hoping the bronzer is next because this bronzer I know it doesn't like look like much on my hand but the picture definitely gives a great portrayal of it but let's see I forget which one is next I need to stop jumping ahead can you tell I didn't write the script yes okay and can you tell look at the front of it like the logo isn't even on there anymore look at the picture and then look at mine <laughs> like the logo isn't even on there at all anymore the color is called Skinny Dip, and it is a bronzer, but I used it all over. I was so in love with this product. Look at this color, you guys. It's a baked bronzer. It starts out as a cream, and then it spends hours over time drying in a special oven. So that way, it's 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 ridiculously pigmented. It's so, oh my gosh. You can use it wet or dry, and it is buildable. And I did use it for everything. I used it on my eyelids. I used it as a highlighter. I used it like on my nose, the tip of my nose, above my lip, like, I was a bronze goddess for a week when I got this job. I just like, like, the dewy, glowy look. I know everyone has their, you know, preferences of what they like look-wise. That's why I kind of do me, and I don't care if people say, oh, I don't like the dewy look, it looks oily. Well, then don't wear it. <laughs> like, I get compliments so much. Like, I do what I want to do, and I'm not swayed by everyone else's opinions of what you're supposed to look like. I'm sorry, don't get me started. This is not my podcast. <laughs> so look at this. I just, I fell in love. <laughs> Very impressed. This is another one that I had to track down because I'd already started using it. It was already in my makeup bag. And another one that's also in my shopping cart. I was very impressed. And I believe the next is the primer, if I'm not mistaken. I think a feature that I read on the front of this is that it has hyal hy ooh, hyaluronic acid. And that's something that's in my face wash. And that's something, it, I think it's benzoyl peroxide that's in, um, Pure active. People are always asking. Oops, people are always asking um, how my skin is so clear. I've just used special ingredient. Not. Oh gosh, I can't even answer that question in one. I really like the ingredients in this. Um, it was really watery when I put it on, though. Um, but it's a. It builds really nicely. It dries very nicely. It doubles as a moisturizer. It minimizes the appearance of fine lines and pores. And. I also demoed this with another product that's in the bag and it was, it was very impressive. Um, the two ingredients that are in here, they work together to strengthen your skin's moisture barrier. So it helps to hold in hydration, like um, how honey is a humectant, it pulls air, it pulls out moisture from the air to keep your skin hydrated. This one, it just leaves your skin looking overall plump. Like look at that, I love how that dries. It's not heavy or greasy. It was actually really lightweight. That, that's what was so impressive. It was lightweight, but it seemed like powerful. Sorry, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Love this packaging like this is such impressive packaging and the cutest little palette or little I don't even know what to call it if it's one what is it called cutest little eyeshadows I don't know it's Nomad Cosmetics it's around the world light infusion highlighting blush and Pasitano Sunrise is the color I, if I pronounced that correctly the Ipsy website hypes this up so much and wait until I put it on my hand you're gonna be like whoa like a little bit goes a long way same with the Smashbox primer that I talked about before that I didn't drop the name for <laughs> Smashbox Cosmetics that photo finish primer 
just a little dab of it goes a long way. I should have said dash though. I forgot I'm not putting this on. But look at that. So I use this over the primer. It's buttery, it's buildable, it's blendable. It'll highlight your eyes, your face, your body. It's infused with sunflower seed oil to soften and moisturize. It's travel size. It has this pearly, pearly kind of like, I said it, what am I looking for? I forgot the word they use on the website. I found when I use it in combination with the primer, it's just, look how bold it is. It's really... Like, it's blinding. So I was very impressed by this as well. Like, this was a great bag overall. I think I would actually give this bag a 5 out of 5. Even with the lip stuff, me wanting the darker one, even the darker one came in a different bag. The English Rose actually came in this one. I was still really feeling the English Rose, and I feel like I can actually utilize all these products. Sometimes I end up, you know, giving one away to a friend here, and the bag there, and so-and-so. And I'm like, well, I was actually feeling this. So happy birthday to me on this one. I really enjoyed it. I just... Blinding. Very impressed. So, this was September Ipsy Glam Bag 2018. I don't have my life together right now. I'm so behind, but October's coming soon, November's coming soon. December and August. Oh, I shot August with mine. Alright, so that's it. I don't know why I still feel awkward in like asking my audience things and talking to my audience and telling them what I want. So I'm trying to get more natural with that and trying to open up more and talk more. I'm usually, I like to be in my bubble. Like, look at this demo, y'all. Like, I went behind the scenes. I didn't even want to be behind the camera this time. So if you liked kind of hand demos like this, give it a thumbs up. Let me know. Comment below what was your favorite part of this. Comment below what was your least favorite part of this because I like to grow. I think I'm the only one that like talks about things like that what is, I don't know what anyone else is doing on their channel I've kind of been in my own bubble trying to do my own thing and break through mental barriers so this is like the first step of that I suppose um, so if you liked this comment below thumbs up and I'll see y'all